All right, so this morning, I got the title for this bad boy. So from here on out, um, the plan is, the first thing I wanted to do was replace this window. But before we replace the window um, in the back, um, he has all the parts. I checked that the switch does work. Um, so hopefully everything will work out with that. But um, the previous owner had a soft top he made for this thing and there's snaps all over it. And I think they look horrible. So um, I got to drill those out and um, do the slight body work. I mean, I'm, not, I'm just gonna weld in the holes grind them off, uh, do all the metal work, and then you know later we can come in with the Bondo and stuff. But I don't want to have to weld these when the window's in here, because I think that might um, you know do some damage to the window. So um, let's get started. First thing I want to do on this project was just drill out all the snaps. Those things are driving me nuts. When I opened the tailgate, I noticed there was a little bit of interference um, from all the dents in the bottom of uh, the tailgate area. So it was time for some persuasion. These press and fasteners were a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. The inside panel is held on with Phillips head screws. I wanted to make sure to get all the metal shavings out of the tailgate because these Bronco tailgates tend to rust in the bottom. Here I'm cleaning the body to get ready for metal work, first with a clean and strip disc and then with a wire wheel. I've tried the slide hammer before, but I really like this method of using a vice grip and uh, just a regular hammer to kind of pry on the vice grip. Um, you have a lot more control over the studs when you do it this way. From here on out, I'm not going to show the grinding, but I do um, have to cut off the studs um, in between each uh, time you do it, and then re-prep the surface for welding on more studs. Here I started using a Bondo spreader to kind of see where the low and high spots were. Any rigid flat piece will work. This gives you a, a visual cue uh, because it can kind of get confusing when you're just feeling and looking at the different colored pieces of metal. Um, it helps to find those low spots so you can put the studs in. For some reason the top of the tailgate was bowed out, um, so I used this big flat piece of wood to hammer it back down flat. It worked pretty good. Here I'm welding on a piece of flat bar to get a good ground. 
And then I tried to use parts of the studs um, to fill the, the drilled out snap holes. But I found that it worked better just to weld right into the holes. Um, that worked better than using parts of studs. Now I could finally start diving into the window parts. First I gave the motor assembly a good cleaning with some brake clean. Then it was trying to figure out how everything went together um, without having it assembled in the first place. So here the motor wasn't working I was trying to figure out what was going on. I tried the key at the tailgate and the switch at the dash and neither one was working. Trying to get serious with the voltmeter here. All them Bronco guys out there are getting really frustrated right now because they know the trick that I can't figure out yet. Now I'm thinking, well, at least I should see if the motor works because I'm not getting voltage at the connector and yeah, I can't make anything happen. So just tried to feed power to the motor itself. Some success. At least now I know I have a working motor. A lot of people say you should check the wires behind the driver's side taillight. So I checked these out and all the wires look good. All right, so here's the trick. There is a safety switch inside the latch on the driver's side that you have to depress if you want to actuate the window with the tailgate open. Or you can just use it with the tailgate closed like it's intended. Now that all systems are a go, I can go back to cleaning and greasing. Try to use dust resistant dry lube, PTFE spray. It says you can use it with window tracks, slide rollers, hinges, conveyor belts. Um, yeah, we'll give her a try. So we'll see if I'm doing this correctly in a minute. But basically, the way I'm doing it is, you can see this piece here. I'm sliding this assembly underneath it. Um, and you can see that the, uh, 
And I guess you can kind of see the orientation. You saw the way I put it in. And this will be our clip for the uh, motor. And then we have these other connectors here for the, uh, for the defrost. And those are connectors on the window itself. So we'll bolt this guy up and then uh, she, she works. Time to install the window. I had to remove both the seals for enough room to install this. All right, so finally got uh, this guy going up and down good. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to um, get this sticker adhesive. It's driving me nuts. Um, I'm using WD-40. God, don't put this, please don't put this on your Bronco top if you are gonna sell me your Bronco because I don't like removing it. Now it's time to make some temporary primer patches until I figure out what I'm going to do with the paint. I don't care that much about the body in this truck because it's already pretty messed up, but I do hate rust.
I kept getting little patches of overspray because I didn't mask off a big enough area, but I was able to catch it by just quickly rubbing it off. The new tail light lens was only like $12, so I wasn't going to rock that taped up garbage anymore. It doesn't quite fit like it used to, but at least it's not taped. Blinker? Brake light? Ah, uh, the reverse light doesn't work. I'll have to fix that later. Hopefully the guy didn't hook up the switch when he replaced the ZF transmission. I couldn't get the rear window to roll down all the way. It would stop just short. Basically there's a tab on the top side, which took me a long time to realize because it kind of has a, um, it kind of hooks around. Um, it's really hard to show here, but it's right here, back here. Um, and I was looking on the bottom because this side tends to ramp up. And so when it ramps up, I would think it would be below. But since it's hooking down, it actually catches underneath and brings it up. Right there. Now I'm going to try to bend that up. It's going to be difficult, but I think once I bend that up, it'll close all the way. So you can see there's striations down there. So I'm having my girlfriend hold um, this wood piece of wood down while I weld those up. All right, you can see how that this rib here kind of moved a little bit when she pushed down. And so she's gonna to try to push that down while I weld it and hopefully it gets this side to go down low enough to where it clears the rod um, that basically the tailgate hinges upon. Because even after I bent that tab, it's hitting the rod now. So this de thing's definitely tweaked because of um, an issue where somehow it got bitten enough to actually start breaking and tearing the metal. Some combination of welding and brute force has fixed my window. Thanks for watching.